All right, I'm going to get started here. Let's um, let's jump over to the monitor. <clears throat> so, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to have this kid kind of rocking back and forth uh, on this little spring horse. So I'm going to use a couple different techniques to do that. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let me know if you guys are seeing everything make sure that I've got everything going. Okay, so we should be good and we're not muted. So I'll make sure that everybody can see and hear me. Let's check the, check the cam, audio, test, test. Good, we're good to go. Okay, cool, 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 let's do it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna jump over here. Um, and I'm gonna look at this guy. So I've got him in um, Photoshop over here, and you can see we've got a bunch of different layers. Um, so each one of these, those little grass layers and things like that, got all that going on. Jump over here, and After Effects, and those same layers kind of come through. So we're gonna start. Um, I'm just gonna do something on the background real quick. Um, with a couple of these things. So we've got these pieces of grass and I'm just going to have them drift a little bit. So I'm going to grab my anchor point, kind of put it right there. And uh, I'm just going to come in, <clears throat> hit R for rotation, Alt to click on the rotation to add a, um, an expression. And I'm just going to put a little wiggle expression on there. And let's just do like, uh, let's do twice a second, move in degrees. Let's see what that looks like. That's not bad. Three. A little bit of that. Maybe a little too much. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Let's just do... Let's do five degrees, not 15, five. Okay, so that's pretty good. So then I'm gonna copy this over to the other um, grass layers. Paste, paste, and because it's a wiggle, they're not gonna move exactly the same because it's a random number generator. So now we just need to let's see which one's which here. I want I want him sitting on this line up. Let's check this guy. A really better idea to do this beforehand, but let's move this over. Just that out a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that might be great. Next one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think it has. Mm -hmm. Down there. Okay, and then this one. I'm just sewing these layers. So I know which one's which here. This one I might not have wiggle that much. It's a little bit flatter. Let's see. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, nice little wiggle. I'm going to slow one of these down because one of them is just really big. And so this one, I'm going to take it go into the expressions. And we're just going to have it go once per second and for you just to have it be because it's just a longer thing so it just kind of works a little bit more. I'll turn all of these down just a little bit. I don't want them to be too distracting so hey we got Gominelli, Jake, what's going on guys? There we go. A little bit of movement there. 
Okay, let's do the same thing in the trees. Okay, so now that I have those grass things, I'm just going to close all these, uh, highlight them, and we'll just shy guy them for right now. Toggle switches mode so we can turn that on. Okay, so they're still there, but we'll just hide them for a minute. Okay, so bush. I don't think I'm going to do anything with the bush. And tree number one. Let's go into that, and we'll get some, get a little bit of movement on that. Now, these are going to bleed off the edge, so the trunk isn't going to move, the leaves in the back. Let's see if it, it looks weird to do like a puppet pin or something. Dee Dee is with us. Can't stay. Just wanted to say that I got your shirts in. They are awesome. I'll show them on tomorrow's stream. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. So Dee Dee bought uh, that First Amendment shirt that I've got, and if you guys would like to buy that First Amendment shirt, you can see it at coreykerr.com uh, slash online, and it's, uh, it's displayed there. So if you like the government not throwing you in the back of an unmarked van, you should go get a First Amendment shirt. Okay, so I'm going to pin this layer here um, so it doesn't leave the top, and then down here, that last pin, hit U to open those up. And I'm just going to have that final pin. I'm going to put a uh, I'm going to put a wiggle expression on the um, the wiggle expression on the uh, just that bottom pin there. So let's do like three times a second. So three comma one hundred pixels. Let's see, that might be too much. Way too much. Okay, so let's get longer. Twenty pixels. How's that? Oh, great. Thank you, Didi. That's awesome. I'll leave a link in your channel in my description. That's that's super awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Cool. So we got a little bit of that. I'm going to slow it down even more. I don't want it to seem like super windy. So I'm going to just do, let's do once a second and just get some draft. And then you know what? I'm going to I'm going to posterize time here. So I'm going to go six times per second. And I'm going to add posterized time. Um, so let's hit return. And we'll go posterized time six here. And let's see, I can't remember, I can't remember the order. That's a long order. So you want the wiggle expression to be after the posterized time. Posterized time does is it skips a certain number of things so that everything can kind of just jump. Yeah. Gives it a little bit more of a, a little bit more of like a like a stop working feel. Okay, so let's see how that looks. In the background there, so it's a little bit of a wiggle. You know, I do the same thing on the do the same thing on the leaves behind as well. So um, let's go leaves in the back, and we'll get out our thing again. I want to pin it to the top so it doesn't move. And I'm going to go here and here. And so those last two, we put a wiggle and posterize time on there. So that one, alt click on the stopwatch and uh, posterize time, wiggle. And let's have that move 10 pixels. Oh, what is going on? Then I'll just wait a little bit. Great. And I'm just going to copy that over. Copy to this other one. Alt click. <laughs> Less of a wiggle, more of a jiggle, Jig says. Yeah, that's kind of why I like the posterized time, is because it makes it look a little bit more stop motion, a little bit less gelatinous. Um, especially on puppet pins, it can look a little bit. Uh, a little bit kind of funky. All right, let's go back to the background and check that out. Yeah, so that's okay. We got the grass moving, got the leaves jumping around, and that is a lot of motion now that I'm looking at it. So I am going to make it even less on that tree. Um, so let's go. Let's go with three pixels. And there we go. Just almost a little bit of vibration. Okay, we'll go up to the top again. This guy, if you hit U, it'll expose the keyframes. 
so let's turn this down to three. It's important that your uh, posterized time number and your frequency and your wiggle are the same when they line up. So it's a lot better. So less jarring here. Yeah, just a little bit of movement. Cool, okay. Uh, let's do the other trees in the background here. And what do we got? The trunks and the front and the back. The back. So I'm just going to do the front and the front. Great. All right, so this front, I'm just going to make it easy on myself and alt click on the position. And we'll go posterize time and wiggle. Let's turn that into a two pixel wiggle. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, just barely moving. I don't know if you guys can even see that on the stream. Let me zoom in a little bit. So if I just go here, you can see just a touch, just a little bit of a wiggle. Yeah, so let's, I think three pixels might be the magic number even for the stuff in the background. Give myself some time. I'm going to copy and paste that. Be the ones in the back. Uh, so we'll go like this. And this time, let's put it on the rotation. Oop. Paste. And that's going to be a lot. Let's put it back to the screen here. And I'm going to move my anchor point to be roughly there. And three degrees is a lot more than three pixels. So I'll turn that down. Maybe even to 0.5 degrees. Just want a little bit of movement. Yeah, okay, so let's jump back in to the other Over here. Just a little bit of movement. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's do the other tree. Okay, so this tree. Like a so, um, believe I'm gonna do position on that. I'll click and paste. So I'm just doing the posterized time semicolon and a little wiggle expression just to get it kind of dancing around a little bit. Great. And if I need to do the rotation, I'm just gonna do the same thing. Um, you know what? Here's here's a fun way of doing this. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit P, and I'm gonna pick whip this other position, which would put it moving in the exact same time. But then I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna negate it so it does the opposite. So what it will do is when the one moves up, the other one will move down. When it moves right, the other one moves left. So I put that in parentheses, and I multiply it by negative one. Do I not have that? There we go. Okay, so. I've got these little uh, codes already kind of laid out um, on my Elgato stream deck. So I don't want <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah, so it actually, that might be too much work. Yeah, I'm going to undo that. Um, what it did is it, it negates it, so it also moves it significantly. So, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just paste my thing out. I'm trying to go fast here. So let's move on that. All right, dance, my friends, dance. Yeah, yeah. That's looking nice. I almost want to get the little, uh, I almost want to get the trunks kind of bouncing around a little bit. That could be kind of interesting. We'll see. We'll see if we've got the time. So let's go back over here. A little bit of drift and movement there. It's not too distracting. The grass is okay. We'll see if we need to do anything with that bush. Um, but I think we're good for now. I don't have any clouds. Um, so let's go back here. Let's see how that looks. Fun, fun, fun. All right. Okay, now the boy. So what we're going to do with the boy here is we are going to link everything up um, by parenting things. So you can see, let's start moving stuff around. 
that in the head and you know, the forearms. And all of these are kind of in different layers and different positions. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link all those up and might even shrink them a little bit. Uh, this guy's got a giant head. Kind of awkward, so throw the anchor point where you want it to rotate. Let's hit scale and just knock that down a bit. That is a little bit better. Yeah. Alrighty then, so come back. There we go. Good idea. Right. Um, okay. So Gabinelli is saying the jitter would look good on the trucks. I'm wondering if it if you get kind of that old school like 1930s dancing tree thing. I might try that. Just kind of yeah, we'll do that. That'll be fun. Um, let's do that before we do the thing. I like it. You convinced me. Okay, so tree one. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to tree trunk uh, let's move our anchor point this way um and i want the trunk to kind of bend as it bounces a little bit but i also want the leaves to kind of go with it we'll, we'll see i can't remember if we can parent a uh, I can't remember if you can parent the um, something to the position of a uh, uh, puppet pen. But we'll try. So let's get our trunk here. And instead of using a normal puppet pen, I'm going to use the advanced puppet pen tool. Let's stick that right there. And then I'm going to normal puppet pen on the edges here, like this. I want those to move. And that guy, that guy. Okay, and we'll hit our advanced here, and that can make it so that we can make this smaller or bigger, right? So we got that going. But you also can rotate it, do, 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 do a little dance. So we can go out like this, move out. Yeah, all right. So I was dumb, and I created all of those things <laughs> um, with the stuff out there. So I'm just going to turn all the puppet pins off, all the keyframing off, all the pins that I'm not going to do anything with, and then I'll hit U twice to collapse everything. Okay, so now we have position, scale, and rotation of this one. Um, <laughs> Kevin only says, that sounds hard, but I also don't animate. Um, puppet pins make things pretty easy. Once you get used to them. So let's see. One a thousand. Okay, so I can go. This is a very scientific thing that I just did. <laughs> a dance so that I can figure out the timing. So um, in my little dance, I figured I could do about. What am I? That's an idea. Um, I'm going to go to. I'm going to go about halfway through, about 12 frames. And we'll go over like this. And pull it over, and then we'll have that loop. So I have to go here and pull it over. So that goes, and then in the middle will kind of we'll dip a little bit. Dip, dip. Yeah, I know it looks like hip swinging. Okay, cool. I love it. All right, um, and then I will have. Scales not doing anything. So we'll turn scale. No, not everything. Just scale. Turn scale off. Alright. So do a little dance. Down to night. Okay, so I don't want to repeat that over and over again. So let's just do a loop out. Loop out. Um we'll do ping pong. But it goes back and forth. Copy that to the other one. Click. Paste. And it dances. That might be fast. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, 
I mean, these are trees. I'm going to slow that down quite a bit. Okay, so come back over here. And uh, let's have that whole thing take two seconds. So I'm just going to spread this out. Hold Alt, grab this, pull it to two. And that should put this at something. Okay. And let's make sure that those lines are good. Good. All right. Go back to here. Yeah, just kind of slow, just kind of dancing. Okay, so as that does that, I'm going to come back over here, and I wonder, let's try it. I don't know if this will work. I wonder if I can uh, posterize time for that. Is that, is that, is that more distracting? <laughs> I don't know. Let's try up and post rise time. Okay, back on. Kind of just like that, that low frame rate animation. Cool. Okay. Um, I might even slow that down even more. We'll see. Pretty easy to slow it down. Okay, let's do this other tree. And on this guy, okay, which trunk is which? Here? This is. Oh no, they're both the same. That's fine. I think we can separate them out. So I'm going to hit. Along the edges here, so those stay the same. This stays the same. And then advanced puppet pin. And I put it right in the middle. Okay. And then let's grab tree trunk two. For you to expose all the things. And I'll turn everything off. Except that advanced one. Okay, that's the one that's going to dance a little bit. Okay, so take these three key things. I'm not in my home studio, and so I don't have a full keyboard right now. It's driving me nuts. Because I'd like to just hit the home button, but I don't have a home button right now. So, what did I say? Two seconds. So we'll come out. Two seconds, and that's how it just barely moved. Just a bit of a drift. Good. Okay. Again, we don't need scan. Okay. So let's alt click and we'll go posterize time loop out pin clone. Great. Okay. On this one, alt click again and posterize time loop out pin clone. If you guys are wondering how I'm just pushing a button and typing all of that, um, I've got an I've got to stream deck that does it for me. So, well worth it. They are cool. I like them. And then back on. So let's go back. Okay, it's, now it's getting complicated, so let's try that a couple seconds here. Great. Let's go four seconds. That's fine. Now it kind of looks weird. The other tree isn't moving, so let's do it this way. We're going to go like this, and we're going to go like this. So tree trunk two, and add, um, yeah, we'll just bend it right about there. Okay, and add normal ones top and bottom. If you don't add those ones to kind of pin it down, the whole thing kind of gets weird. Um, okay, so we'll hit U to expand those. And now we've got to keep track of stuff because it's the same dumb layer. Let's make sure. Okay, good. Okay, so that's that. So those can go away, and those can go away. And that one 
want to stay. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, so let's grab this, bring it over to the beginning. Okay, and this time I want it to go, I want this one to bend and have the tree canopy come with it. So let's do that. So I come all the way out here. Rotate. Just a little bit. 15 degrees is a lot. Okay, and I want that. This. Oh, good. Oh. Turn that on. Boom. Okay. And then come over here with this. Yeah. And be back. Be back to where you were. Like so. Great. This one up. Your server. Okay. And then you don't need scale again. So posterize time, loop out ping pong. And I wish I could like do this um, just all at the same time since it's the same expression each time. Okay, so here at the beginning, let's go this one. Is that that one? Yes. And so we're going to have you be position. And rotation. And go to two seconds. And we'll have you move right over. So, rotate a little bit, not that much, hold on, I don't have my anchor points, alright, so where's my anchor point up, put the screen, anchor points down there, piece right here, but actually if I had that anchor point be about here, I might not have to do position, so let's try that. Right there, and then rotate that way with it. Let's get rid of position there, so I don't need this keyframe. That's fine. Do not tell. And then leaves in the back. Tree trunk leaves back to you. Is that you? That's not you. Is that you? That's you. And we're going to do the same thing with you. So. I'm going to change your anchor point to be here-ish. Okay, and then we're going to rotate. Then I'll go to two seconds. And we go up. That rotation. What? That, it's that posterized time thing. So we're going to get rid of... Let's get rid of that. Um, so that I can rotate this. Okay, so. What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> oh, I'm done. That's okay. I'm changing the number of full rotations, not the degree of rotation. So, what the heck? All right, all right, I apologize. Where did you go? Hold on, I can not uh, Did I kill it? Killed it. <laughs> like, move things like that. Alright, do that. Zoom in. Okay, and dance. Zero to. Then just move over slightly like that. Good. Okay. From there. Yeah. 
So then we're going to hit this posterized time ping pong. So it should go back and forth, down, and then back up. I'm going to fix the trunk as well. That's not doing what I want. So cycle. Ping pong. This is the same. Oh, that's ping pong. And that's cycle. Push the wrong button. Push the wrong button. So if everybody, if you guys in the chat have any questions about anything, or just anything that's going on, let me know. Okay, let's do the leaves. Uh, leaves. Oh, uh, these ones. Yes. Is that what's going on? Oh, those are good. It's the front leaves that are not good. Front leaves! Yep, okay. And you. And I'll click. And posterize time ping pong. So ping pong just makes it go back and forth. Cycle makes it repeat in the same order. Okay. So that's cool. Background. Dancing trees. Dance funny trees. This slow. You can almost hear the piano music. Cool. All right, all right, all right. Get my little dancing background going on. We're just gonna I'm just gonna have this bush kind of kind of wiggle with the same the same thing. So let's move our let's anchor it to the ground here. And then let's get our this one I want to be a little bit more subtle. So I pen it several times while I'm using the mouse when I have a Cintiq. Um, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have it dance in the middle. But I don't want it to move a lot. So let's turn all of that off. <laughs> what did I just do? Right. I need a bigger screen. There we go. Okay. We don't need you or you. Or you or you or you or you. You guys are all gonna stay the same. My hope is that. The outside of this doesn't uh, doesn't do much. So let's go to two seconds. And let's just have it rotate a little bit, just a little. And then we'll have it scale a little bit, come over a little bit. And then we'll have it come back. Kids are coming to visit. Okay, posterize time. Ping pong. I'll click. On the stopwatch, posterize time, loop out ping pong, one more, posterize time, loop out ping pong. Okay, and we've got a little dancing bush. There we go. So everything loops on the two seconds. Fun little background elements. Normally I'd have that tree in the background. Um, yeah, so Gavinelli is saying what we do about the part where the tree tops cut off. Let me show you. So if we go to the full thing, this blue line is my safe zone. Um, and so uh, I expect everything to be outside of that safe zone. Um, so when I go like this, um, I've still got a little bit of zoom in there and everything. Um, but the blue line is 1920 by 1080, or the blue line is 16 by 9, and I got the blue on the outside. So I can push in a little bit if I want. Yeah. I wonder if the grass drifting instead of doing the posterized time is a little bit much. I'll come back and fix that later if it's still bugging me. Okay. Now, this is the fun stuff. Now we're getting to the fun stuff. So. I am going to make this boy kind of rock back and forth. 
and um, I'm going to control him with a joystick. So let's parent everything together. So the head is going to parent to the shirt, and the forearm is going to parent to the arm, and the arm is going to parent to the shirt, and the forearm is going to parent to the arm, and the arm is going to parent to the shirt, and the pants, the shirt is going to parent to the pants, and the pants are going to parent to the spring. Let's see if that works. Okay, so if the pants move, then everything moves. Good. Okay, and we'll put that anchor point here. Okay, so we're going down, 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 good. Okay, and if the arm moves, then the forearm goes with it. Excellent. So let's put that anchor point right there. Rotate. Okay, cool. Okay, so we can't go too far up or it's going to move. I'm going to lower that anchor point. Down. Good. Okay. All right, so. Okay. Um, then forearm left is that one. I'm going to have that bend at the elbow. So we have Y, the anchor point over there, and rotate the elbow. A little bit of movement before it gets weird. We only need a little bit for this, so that's good. Okay. <clears throat> okay, shoot. Um, I'm going to have that rotate at the back, so right about here. It's going to be a little tricky with that handle, so I might have to work that out a little bit. We'll try it. We will try it. I'm right, and that's that one. So we're going to have that rotate at the shoulder. Rotate. Do -do -do -do. Great. Good. 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 And that might not even move out. We'll try it. Okay, on forearm right. It is going to rotate at the elbow. Okay, so I think if those are opposite each other, so let's let's do let's try this. So the arm, if I alt click and I go like this, and then I'm just going to get the opposite of this rotation. And let's get rid of that. So now, and now I want this to be here, and also be the opposite of that. So let's try. Okay, so there we go. Like so, and then multiply by okay, So what that is doing is that's making it so that when the shirt rotates forward, almost. So I think it's got to be the opposite of that. And if he goes forward it needs to go in reverse. So the this one needs to not be and then we kind of close back. So it's that. It's gotta be less so he doesn't move his arm. Okay, so let's do uh, let's have it divided by three. That much less. Let's try to divide it by two. Okay. Um, 
I might not be able to do this this way. I'm just going to undo this, and I will fix it with the joystick. That's what I'm going to do. So, do -do 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 -do. so he's going to rotate on the shirt, and then I will fix the rest of it with the joystick. All right, so. Da -da -da. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, and then the head rotates there or on there. I think I have my all the stuff in the right spot. So let's try. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to have him, let's see, I want his head to whip back, but at a different delayed speed. So for my joystick on the x-axis, I'm going to have the rotation back and forth of everything. And then on the y-axis, I'll have the extremes of the left arm and his head. That's what I'm going to do. So spring, let's load you up. So anchor to the bottom, to the top, and then rotate with our advanced pin. Rotate, good, cool, great, love it. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So um, with joysticks and sliders, the idea is that your first keyframe is the origin. Your second keyframe is what happens when you move the joysticks to the right. Third is left. Fourth is up. And fifth is down. And then you bind them all and it'll do it. It'll animate for you. So let's do this. So let's go. When I move it to the right, I want it to rotate. Um, that way. So, okay, so I'm going to go, let's go rotation, like this, and move this guy, like that, okay, and let's grab our, oh, we'll do the whole thing, okay, so then we'll go back, and give me, where's my joysticks and sliders? Origin and origin. Okay, I don't think we need scale. Okay, so uh, we also need this game. Give me origin of oh, this one. Come on, it'll be fun. Great. Okay, and that will go this way, and this will come out. Like that. Okay, and then the rest of these are trim. So, and one more time. Origin. Okay, great. So that gives us our left and right. That's right. I don't want to do anything up and down. Fantastic. Okay, so that's our spring. Close the spring down. And then let's go pants and horse. We probably need a position and a rotation. And we'll start with rotation. Position. Okay. Let's go rotation. Position. This is a little bit more. Ooh. Those 
Origin. Origin. Okay, so now it gets tricky, but let's see how that works. I'm going to grab the spring, grab the horse. Let's create a new joystick layer by clicking on that button. And we'll name this joystick Spring Name. And okay, and the cool part about it is I don't need this one. Maybe this little control. No! This control. Oh my gosh. Just locking all of you so I can grab this stupid thing. <laughs> I just want this one box. There we go. Uh, you can see that. Okay, now we lock this guy. And we move this back and forth. He bounces back and forth. That a cool. Way. And so now I need to figure out what I want to happen with the up and down. So it goes back and forth. When it goes back, I'm going to press up. And I have to go up. Yeah. Okay. So let's undo this. Okay, so let's unbind that guy. Back to joysticks. And uh, unbind. And give me the head. I probably just can rotate. So to your right. I'm going to do nothing for the first two. Origin. Origin. And then we move the joystick up. Rotate it. Yeah. I wonder. Oh, it's weird. I'm going to change where the anchor point is. Um, because it gave me kind of a long neck, so I'm just going to kind of have it. Kind of squish his neck a little bit. Rotation. It looks up. You know, I'm going I'm to do position as well. So let's go position. And we move down a little bit, the back of the bit. Cool. Okay, then when he goes forward, let's. Tilts down. So we want to move it the other direction. <laughs> Change the position so it's not super weird looking. Okay, then. Just kind of cut and twist those. Okay. So now let's grab head, uh, spring and pants. Spring, pants, head, and bind. And then we can move this guy. Okay, so I'm going to have a movement. So I'm going to uh, separate dimensions, right click, separate dimensions on the x-axis. Let's have them go back and forth in a couple of seconds. So let's go uh, 200. And let me go negative 200. Okay. 
y-axis. We kind of delay a little bit. See how that looks. Super stiff. So let's uh, control click on these. Nope. Uh, yeah, command click on these. Let's move that. F9, F9, this. It's weird that his neck gets longer. <laughs> so let's fix that. Uh, unbind. Okay, and back to the head. Zoom in here and blah, blah, blah. I need this to be lower. Nope, not that one. Just lower. Lower, lower, lower. Copy that. Just it today. Rebound. Red. Pants. Spring. Let's try it again. Woo! Wonder if can we throw these? No, I want. I actually want. I actually want that to be a delayed reaction. So let's go like this, and then I'm going to move this out. And move this out. So he's going to go delayed. This needs to not freak out as well. Or Okay, so then let's come back over. Is that almost takes three seconds? Is that? Oh, no. We'll try. We'll try. Two seconds. Let's go to about six here. And I'm going to come back. a little bit forward and then it a little bit back and forward that's way too slow I think I'm watching it in slow motion it's like he's about to be murdered 
Okay, so let's take this whole thing and speed it up. I want Alt to do that. Let's try force on this. I still think it needs to be even faster than that. Let's try it for three seconds. Okay, you guys are at the first time. Let's just have go super fast. Super fast. All right. Um, okay, so, 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 what do I want to do? No, let's try it. Let's try deleting these and adding a ping pong uh, wiggle or a loop out ping pong here and a loop out ping pong here. And then it'll get off, but it might look kind of good. Just yeah, so that'll just be all the things. That's fine. Good. I'm going to do his arm as well. Okay, so I'm just going to have his arm be doing whatever. So let's go forearm left and arm left and rotation. And let's see if I go down with this. Is it? Is it? So between 34. So I'm going to put it about in the middle. And then I'm going to go uh, wiggle. And let's go one and a half times a second. Move 40 degrees in the rotation. Where is I going? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I did that, of course, on the forearm. So let's do that on the arm left. Paste. All right. I think that's good for now, so let's go back and check this whole thing out here. Yeah. I'm riding a purple pony. Woo, purple pony. All right. I think it's good. I do want, I 
do want to do a shirt though. So this will be a little tricky. I think I want to put it on the up and down axis. So I'm going to take everything and let's unlink it. And let's grab it all here. So we'll see all the keyframes. Close this one down. No, not all of them. Keyframes. Button select. Okay, so okay, so when it moves to the right, fine. Left, fine. So let's go shirt. Give me, I think just rotation is all I need, sir. So rotation. Go. Um, it goes up. So go back a little bit. Down, so I'm go forward a little bit. Aha! Okay. All right now we need to fix his hand. So before we do that, let's go be a keyframe and be a keyframe. And now we need to fix his arm. So let's go. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. You guys are all shy guide, shy guide. Forearm right. I'm gonna eyeball this. So let's go rotation here. And then arm right rotation over here. And it goes up. Rotate down. Same spot, okay. And it goes down. Come back up. Come back. Go forward. Back. Back. So. Cool. Okay. And then be a keyframe, be a keyframe, be a keyframe, be a keyframe. And let's grab it all, except this, and bind it back to that, and then come back out here, and dance, dance for me. Really struggling with all this one. What a render out here. There we go. So here's 10 seconds. Woo! Yeah! I love it. It's so fun. Good times. All right, guys. That's it. If you want to see my stuff, you can go to CoreyKerr.com. Um, if you want more of these things, you can check out my playlist on YouTube. If you haven't yet, like it, share it, all that jazz. Um, got a t-shirt for sale on my store, coreycare.com, and uh, I'll be doing more of this stuff. So this is for uh, shades, which is something we're working on collaboratively. So good talking to you guys, and we will push this button. Uh, we will see you guys um, the next time we do this. I don't know when I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to do this a little bit more often. We will see how it goes. Stop streaming now and broadcast. Okay, catch you guys later. CoreyCare.com.